Yo, what up? Welcome to Moot Math. We're going to do math today. We're going to do Advanced Engineering Mathematics. We're going to go through the whole book, 9th edition by Erwin Krasig. Yeah, it's a pretty cool mathematical subject. Differential equations very uh, important for engineering, physics, probably uh, chemistry. Here's like a cool trippy effect here. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that shit. Yeah, cool. I this is like the uh, the most welfare setup I could get. I I only have uh, I'm, I'm gonna eventually invest in like a thing where I can hold the camera like this. Like I'm gonna get like a wooden thing I can put like this. But for now, I'm gonna hold it and it's gonna just make you vomit probably. But maybe just the first few videos will be like this. Just I want to get this started. I want to do this for a long time. So yeah, we're gonna just work through all these problems, and hopefully it can help you with your uh, math. Okay, problem one: solve the ODE by integration. So number one: y prime equals negative sine pi x. Okay, so you have y prime equals negative sine pi x. So it's saying dy. The prime means dy over dx equals negative sine pi x so then you can it says solve it by integration so what you want to do is get all the y terms on one side all the x terms on the other side so dy equals negative sine pi x dx and then you can integrate both of these dy integral negative sine pi x dx so at right now you can see it's a indefinite integral, I believe, or like an unbounded integral. I'm not sure what the proper term is. And so at the end we're going to have an arbitrary constant, but we can add that later. So dy, integrating nothing with respect to dy or, or with a constant 1 with respect to dy, or just simply integrating dy gives you y. And then you have well, it's going to be y plus a constant, c. And then you have an integral, it's y plus c right there. And then you have the new one, so it would be integral of sine pi x dx. So we know that, as an aside, uh, d cos of ax over dx. This is equal to negative a sine of x. So we kind of have that, or sine of ax. I guess it would be like, to make it as arbitrary as possible, d over dx times the constant b cos of ax. You're going to get a dot b dot. You're going to get this. That's the most general form of it, I believe. You could also put a plus phi in here as a phase shift, but it doesn't matter for now. So now we have, so the integral of this will be, I believe, so the b in this case is going to be like negative 1, I think, or it'll be, it'll be different. So you have, the integral will be negative, or it'll be cosine of pi x dx plus a second constant d, but we have to, if you were to go down from this, it would be a pi here. It's going to do 1 over pi. It's 1 over pi. So the b would, in this case, would be 1 over pi. And then you have, or I mean, sorry, the b in this case would be 1 over pi. And then you have the a comes down when you do the differentiation. Then you have 1 over pi times pi equals 1, then times negative 1. Because when you differentiate from cos to sine, you have to throw in a negative sign. When you go from sine to cos, it, there's no negative sign. Um, so then we have this function here, but we can combine. Usually you can skip this step, but I decided to show it to make it more clear. But you can combine the two constants into one. So we'll say that, another aside, we'll say that or d, d minus c equals q. 
All right, we're just saying this, the two arbitrary constants, the, dif the difference between the two is equal to q. So now we can say that y equals one over pi cosine of pi x plus q, because q is equal to d minus c. So that's this arbitrary constant. It's when you take the ones from both sides and put it into a new one just to make it like, easier, to make it simpler. So that's the solution to that. So I'm not sure if I want to make every question its own video. I think I might do that. I'm going to make every question its own video. So I'm going to upload a, a very large amount of videos, probably like thousands. And I'll just title each one what the problem is. So hopefully people can find them and they can help them. Cool. All right. Thank you for watching.